welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Vay. Nerd Chuck, and this, my friends, is the Thunder Show, aka the internet's most passionate wine program. I feel like I want to turn off the TV because I just walked in. I figured if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right now. I am in the beautiful city of Toronto. Just look at this gorgeous, gorgeous city. If you've never been, I can't wait to come back. And there's the flag flying. Let's see the Canadian flag. Beautiful. Just did a couple of uh, book events and a wine event, and I noticed when I walked in, I'm like, huh. So, I figured, you know what? We haven't done this in a long time. Let's do it. So, let's taste the wine in our hotel room, a Canadian wine. Uh, what we have is the Cobb Springs 2007 Cab Merlot from Niagara Peninsula, Ontario. And what I know about the 2007 vintage, because I've been rocking and or rolling here in Canada, talking a lot of wine. Sorry, I'm looking for a little tripod thing, so I can actually, there we go. Uh, anyway, um, what I know about the 07 vintage is it's extremely um, different than the other vintages in the past. Uh, it is a much hotter vintage, um, and it is not atypical for Ontario. 06 and 08 were much more classic. 07 was a very dark, uh, very hot vintage, which created a very different type of wine. Um, so right off the bat, we're gonna get a little bit more fruit. It's kind of like Canada's kangaroo vintage, as I always like to talk about, you know, Barossa Valley and things of that nature. So hot vintage in Ontario. And so we, we're gonna see what's going on here. Obviously a lot of you know, I'm very fond of um, Canadian wines in general. I think there's a lot of upside going forward uh, for them. I also wanna say I miss you guys. This uh, book tour has been epic. I've seen so many of you um, during the tour at different places. And I wanna thank you guys. I miss you immensely. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting back into a regimen. I did some really interesting things with my calendar in 2010 to get a very structured five days a week killer Wine Library TV world going. I don't know, I still feel like I can get to a thousand. And so um, I'm looking towards that. Um, I'm very excited for a couple other reasons. Uh, it's Misha's first Halloween this uh, Saturday, so I'll be in Montreal tomorrow, or today as you're seeing this, and then I will be home for that, and I miss her and Lizzie immensely, and it's been a big, epic tour, but I want to thank all of you out there for all your support. Crush It will be in this Sunday's New York Times as a num the number two best-selling book, uh, a number two New York Times best-selling book, so... I promise you every English teacher I've ever had never thought I'd be a New York Times best-selling author. So that's an amazing thing and I can definitely say without you guys I'm not there. Thank you so, 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 so much. And uh, if you haven't picked up, crush it. Anyway, Cobb Springs 07, uh, Cab Merlot. Let's see what's going on in here. This is awesome. I do miss you guys immensely. Let's give it a snippy snip. I'm getting a little bit of a... Let's link up CobbSpring.ca. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of a, um, of a little bit of a kind of black currant flavoring coming through on the nose. Little hint of like a, like slight wood, like a, like like a cedar chest thing, like kind of like a cedar box in a cigar. Ripe fruit though, you can definitely cut maybe a little over extracted a little bit as well. Let's give it a whirl. Um, good firm tannins, a little hot on the back end, 13% alcohol, one telltale sign of, um, of Ontario wines is that alcohols are nice and low, much more fruit friendly, fresh fruit, you know, great acidity on the reds, just really, really food friendly wines in general. This is a little hot though on the back end. And the tannin's a little off. It's a little bit of a disjointed little bugger. Um, you know, only so much you can do in a uh, in a hotel room, I guess. But not awful. Definitely not like Gallo Hardy Burgundy quality. But definitely not blowing me away. Um, I uh, I think it's got good firm tannins. I think it would last you know three to seven years. Uh, would go with a lot of variety of foods, steaks, burgers, things of that nature. Probably would benefit from two or three years of cellaring. 
It's the kind of wine that I've tasted a lot of stuff in this category from seven to ten dollars a bottle, seven to twelve dollars a bottle. I don't know what the correct price point is for seven fifty. That's the kind of quality juice. I'm gonna score an eighty four. Um, Good thing I didn't do 85, because then Mott would have to be like, what? Oh, but there's no... So, let's go 84 points on this wine. I'm going to give it a pass. Um, didn't love it, but not awful. A little disappointing. It's definitely, again, I think a lot of my Canadian friends who I've seen, they're going to be like, oh, why did he do that? And It gives Canada a bad name. The fact of the matter is, is that there's a lot of amazing stuff going on in Ontario and Okanagan, and I think Canada is going to be a player. Not because I'm here. There's nobody here. You know, don't worry, there's nobody from the Canadian, you know, just make sure, just want to prove it. There's nobody, I just want to make sure you all get it. There's nobody here, you know, nobody from the Canadian, just make sure, just want to prove it. Nobody from the Canadian, you know, kind of liquor control, you know, board pushing me to, nobody, so. So, I really, really think Canada is going to be a player in the market going forward and I'm excited about that because the wines are really good and give it gives really different sensibility than we get out of the US wines and I think that's pretty darn neat. Um, so pretty happy about that. Gorgeous city. Like just gorgeous. And uh, and that's about it. Other than that, you know, just want to sit here and yap with you guys for a quick second. Just feel not not disconnected, just miss you guys. Miss you. So hope you guys are all well. Hope your families are well. Um, my Jets Dolphins prediction for this week is New York Jets 17, Miami Dolphins. New York Jets 23, Miami Dolphins 22. We're going to squeak it out. Deep down, I'm very worried about this game. Um, no Jenkins, they're going to run all over us. Um, other than that, things are good. I can't complain. I'm massively thankful. I'm just grateful. I'm just a grateful guy, and I adore you guys. Uh, question of the day, um, what do you think about Canada, and more importantly, what do you think about Toronto? Give me a little Toronto and Canada love. And also, you know what, because I want more comments, I want more comments, lurkers please, lurkers please, lurkers. Um, the last wine you had it and your rating. The last wine you've had and your rating. So, thank you guys. You, with a little bit of me, we're changing the wine world. Whether they like it, or not. I'm still here.